Hi, I'm Pastor Brian Hacklander of Centennial United Methodist Church. I'm coming to you from our Roseville campus with this video devotional, which I hope will be a strength and a comfort to you in this time of COVID-19, which we're all in together on as a church community, as the wider community uh, around us here in Roseville, in our St. Anthony Park campus, uh, as a global community. I'd like to share with you words from Isaiah chapter 43 today, which originally were words that were addressed to God's people in exile. And isn't it true that we're all in exile in some way in this time of social distancing when we cannot physically be with all of our friends and loved ones, our, our church community, larger gatherings, but I want to thank you for doing this social distancing because as hard as it is, it's a way of loving our neighbor to help flatten the curve. And loving our neighbor is part of what it means to be Jesus people, what it means to be people of faith with the Christian name. From Isaiah 43, we find these words which are really, I believe, a baptismal promise. They've come to mean so much to me in the last few days. They're God's promise to you, and I hope you'll take them to heart. But now thus says the Lord, the one who created you, O Jacob, the one who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. These are words for you, for me, for all those around us. I'd like to close with a prayer that I came across just the other day, a prayer by Nadia Bowles Weber, who's a Lutheran pastor. Would you pray with me? Oh God, for the layers of comfort and convenience that surrounded our lives and that we never considered a blessing, but always just took for granted, forgive us. For we who must grieve in isolation and not in community, comfort us. For those who care for the sick, protect us. For the ability to turn off the fear-mongering and unhelpful commentary and worst-case scenario clickbait, strengthen us. For the times when we are all out of creative ideas for how to get through this with cooped up kids, inspire us. For we who are now cutting our own bangs at home, guide us. For the grace to allow ourselves and others to just be less productive, shower us. For the generosity needed from those of us who have more resources, empower us. From our own selfish inclinations, deliver us. For just being your children, none of whom have done a global pandemic before, love us. For the days ahead, accompany us. God, unbound by time, help us to know that you are already present in the future we are fearing. Amen. I want to remind you of our Palm Sunday services coming up online from our Roseville and St. Anthony Park campuses this coming Sunday, May, April 5th, as well as our shared Maundy Thursday and Good Friday services across our two campuses. And then our Easter services, and those will be April 12th, Easter Sunday, emanating from each of our campuses. We hope you'll join us for one or more of those. And now be well. 
Connect with those you love. Connect with your friends. Reach out to someone who might be lonely. Be the church in our day, in our time, this day, this time. Because the church is needed more now than ever. And know that Christ walks with you always. Amen.